What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Lenovo IdeaPad Z580 laptop. There are plenty of systems out on the market today, each with different specs, features, and visual styles that are competing for your work and your relaxation time. The Lenovo IdeaPad Z580 is the latest system from the computer manufacturer that was designed with multimedia performance and affordability in mind. So, how much of a lasting impact does this system leave in the minds of consumers? Here's what we thought. The Lenovo Z580 we reviewed was powered by a third generation Intel Core i7-3612QM processor running at 2.1 GHz that can be boosted up to 3.1 GHz via turbo. It comes with 8 GB of DDR3 RAM and is supplemented by Intel HD Graphics 4000. The computer comes with a 15.6 inch LED screen with a native resolution of 1366 by 768. It also packs a 1TB hard drive spinning at 5400 RPM and comes with a 5-in-1 card reader. Rounding out some of the specs of the system are both USB 2.0 and 3.0 ports, HDMI and VGA ports, and a DVD burner. Initially we were struck by the aesthetics of the system. The Z580 is a rather sturdy machine that definitely feels stronger and better put together than some of the laptops that we've reviewed. This machine can definitely take the bumps and knocks from transporting the system, and the brushed metal exterior does a very good job of masking potential scratches and hiding fingerprints. Additionally, we found the hinges on the laptop to be nice and tight, which helped keep the display in place without a lot of flexing or bouncing. All in all, we were pleased with the construction of the machine. Similarly, we were struck by the performance of the laptop, which packed more than enough power to handle every task and test we ran it through. Unlike some laptops with Intel HD 4000, this one was able to run some visually intensive games without slowdown. Movie playback was smooth, and we were able to perform multitasking with lots of video windows open at the same time without lag. What's more, we also found the Z580 was surprisingly quiet. Unlike other machines that can have the fan kick on loudly when the CPU is under load, we couldn't really detect the fan at all. Another thing that we liked was the display of the Z580, which was large and sharp for watching movies or working on various projects. We thought that the backlit LED display was very clear, and the glossy screen was much better than some of the other systems in its class. While glossy screens are usually an issue because of reflectivity, and it does suffer in high light settings, the brightness of the display in low light surroundings actually compensates for the gloss. We also found the viewing angles were better than most other screens we've seen recently, with colors on par with that of mini TVs. We also liked some of the audio presentation of the Z580. We found that we could easily set the volume completely to max and not experience distortion or speaker whining when watching movies or listening to music. We attributed this to the Dolby Home Theater sound settings which worked rather well on eliminating this basic issue. However, testing the sounds with the Z580 raised some issues with the laptop, such as the fact that bass was non-existent when we were watching a movie, playing a game, or listening to music. Similarly, the volume with the computer wasn't impressive. Even if we turned it up completely, we weren't blown away by the sound on the machine. We also weren't impressed by the network card included with the Z580, which isn't a gigabit ethernet card. The card tops out at 100 megabits per second instead of a gigabit, so forget about taking advantage of higher network speeds. This means you'll find yourself waiting much longer to download or transfer files. Needless to say, that's extremely inconvenient compared to other systems on the market. Another problem we had was that the battery was pretty weak. Now we could get 5 hours out of the system if we left it on without running anything. But if we streamed a movie from Netflix or another site, we'd be lucky to get just over 2 hours of life from the battery before we'd have to plug in the computer. You should expect to keep a power outlet close whenever you're using this laptop. We found a lot to like with the Lenovo IdeaPad Z580. The system is aesthetically pleasing, it packs a lot of memory and hard drive space, and it has a good screen in low level conditions. Unfortunately, we couldn't overlook the weak battery life, the slow network card, or the lack of volume or bass from the speakers, which is a very important factor for a multimedia machine. As a result, we can only give the Lenovo IdeaPad Z580 a 3.5 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Lenovo IdeaPad Z580, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash Lenovo. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube, and to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.